Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about another exciting step we've taken towards supporting a cleaner, greener and more sustainable world. We have now acquired Serious Minerals Woodsmith project in North Yorkshire in the UK. This project has the world's largest known high-grade deposit of polyhalite, a natural multi-nutrient fertiliser that can be mined through a relatively simple, low-energy, non-chemical production process. Our strategy is to invest in metal and mineral assets of exceptional quality. For us, this means assets of a large scale with a long resource life, low operating costs and premium quality products that can be mined in a sustainable way. The Woodsmith project ticks all of these boxes, is a potential tier one asset and is a natural fit as it supports our overall trajectory towards those metals and minerals that will meet the world's evolving needs, including infrastructure and food, to support a fast-growing global population. It also fits well with our purpose of reimagining mining to improve people's lives. The Woodsmith Project team has reimagined how a mine can be developed and operated in harmony with the natural environment and its neighbours. Looking at the Woodsmith Project itself, it has a reserve of 290 million tonnes of polyhalite, a grade of 88.8% and a resource of 2.69 billion tonnes. As I mentioned, the mine infrastructure is designed not only to be sympathetic to the sensitive location within the North York Moors National Park, but also for the mining and transport of the polyhalite to the port facilities on Teesside, 37 kilometres away, to cause minimal surface impact by using an underground conveyor. As for the polyhalate product, known as Poly4, this is a premium quality multi-nutrient fertiliser certified for organic use, particularly valuable for major high value crops such as tea, coffee, beans, potatoes and many fruits and vegetables. It's an attractive low chloride alternative to traditional fertiliser products on a cost effective basis, incorporating four of the six key nutrients necessary for plant growth, potassium, sulphur, magnesium and calcium. The production of poly4 is relatively simple with minimal processing so it generates a small fraction of the carbon footprint of other fertilizer products. We think the project team has done a remarkable job to progress the Woodsmith project to where it is today. Their commitment and expertise have been crucial in its development. As we invest in the years ahead to bring the project into production, Woodsmith brings the potential for substantial and sustained economic development, including job creation in the region, both directly and indirectly and over many decades. Also locally, we recognise the fantastic work of the apprenticeship and research programs that are in place, as well as the charitable foundation, into which we will be making a voluntary contribution of £4 million over the coming years, and we expect to start that payment this week. Turning to how we plan to progress the project, Anglo-American has the scale and funding capacity to invest the 3.3 billion that we expect to be required to develop and commission the project to reach a 10 million tonnes per year production level. During the first two years, we expect to invest approximately $300 million per year. Our development work on the project will be broadly in line with the current plan, although we will naturally update the project's development timeline look to further optimise mine design and ensure appropriate integration with Anglo-Americans operating standards and practices. On the technical front, we will bring that expertise to what will be an underground operation, using the latest mining methods while also using our global marketing business to further develop the market for polyfall. This will include helping distributors and farmers understand its unique combination of properties so that we can optimise the value that Poly4 offers to their businesses. Anglo-American has been in the fertiliser business for most of the last 50 years, so we're excited about this next step and the potential we see for the Woodsmith project. Thank you.